what are you and i'm like i'm a medical and research scientist and they're like a doctor and i'm like no nurse no i said i'm a medical laboratory scientist and i don't feel that wear white coats i say yes but we work in the lab and they're like are they no doctors and i'm like no i'm not a doctor not a doctor not a nurse a medical laboratory scientist Now, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akion Lalis. If you're new, thank you very much for stopping by. Well, I am a medical laboratory scientist interning in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I want to talk about my profession. I want to talk about major misconceptions about medical laboratory science. What med lab is, the breakdown of the study in school, the courses you study, the courses we're actually going to study. Then also the board of certification, job security, common places you can work as a medical laboratory science and then should you consider this program now let's get right into today's video now what is medical laboratory science medical laboratory science is the study of body fluids body tissue in order to diagnose the disease in order to treat a disease in order to monitor the progression of a disease or monitor how well a treatment is working basically analyzing all specimen human specimen any kind of specimen you name it we analyze body fluids we analyze tissues people who need to receive blood there's compatibility testing blood group genotype typing genotype typing now also in organ transfer also medical laboratory science are also the people who analyze to find out if that organ is compatible with the person they are about to send it to so anything test we are your guy yes we are your person we are your people we we analyze behind the scenes so we do 70 percent of most of the diagnostic diagnostic work The first major misconception I'll see here in Nigeria is that a lot of people feel that in the healthcare system, there are only two professions. It's you're either a nurse or you're a doctor. Like, I get a lot of times people come to the lab and like, doctor, doctor, and I'm like, I'm not a doctor, and they're like, nurse, and I'm like, I'm not a nurse, this is the lab. You're, everybody you meet here are scientists. And they're like, uh, they really don't get the grasp of it, basically. It's not something that's well widely known as, you know, the first, if you're mentioning professions in the hospital, you mention, okay, there's the doctor, there's the nurse. That is what most people know. Only educated people are people who are more exposed than, okay, there are lab scientists, there are radiographers, there are optometrists, there are different areas in the healthcare system. But basically, that's one of the major misconceptions about medical laboratory science. So now medical laboratory science is a five years course and then in most institutions the first two years you do general studies and also basic health health science studies that's you do courses like biology chemistry your physics maths english and all that now in the 300 level 400 level now you come into the main medical laboratory science courses that is things like medical microbiology chemical pathology or clinical chemistry as the case may be and also you do histopathology then you also talk about hematology and blood bgs that's blood group serology you, that is the main mls courses that you're going to be studying in 300 and 400 level and also you're going to start doing clinical posting going out to the going to the hospitals and you know start doing clinical posting to get familiarized with it like that's like the practical aspect to get familiarized with what you're going to be doing actually in future then in 500 level for some of the universities here in nigeria you specialize you choose an area of specialty and you can decide to study um specialize in microbiology medical microbiology you can decide to specialize in clinical chemistry you can decide to study um, specialize in histopathology or hematology as the case may be but there are few schools that actually do not do specialty even in the fifth year they actually do everything The governing board of medical laboratory sciences MLSC and I'm going to put medical laboratory science council of Nigeria there are two professional exams you do um, to become a certified medical laboratory scientist the first one is in the 400 level 
at the end of the second semester and it's called the first professional exam and the second one is in 500 level and it's called the final professional exam and that you also do at the end of 500 level second semester now the professional exam is actually most the professional exam actually goes on for two days the first day you do the first day you actually do your oral your written exam which is like um a hundred question of true and false then you also do your sports then you go ahead to the practical and do the sports test which consists of you know you saying things uh instruments anything can be given to you in the sports test to identify then also you go to your main practical then the second day is for the oral interview which is also known as viva they actually vibe you you one-on-one -on -one with the invigilator each student to an invigilator so they vibe you singly to know what you actually have up, up there in your head so the professional exam is something you have to actually read for because they could ask you anything anything and everything basically they don't just say oh only 400 level like you know normal school exams they don't just pick that semester you actually what you actually learn that semester they can pick every and anything so now in the 500 level also depending on your area of specialty your exams your final professional exam will be based on your area of specialty so and then if you for your viva also will be based on your area of specialty and also you get to defend your project in front of the invigilators or in front of both the internal and external invigilators the um the board always sends people to actually be present and invigilate these exams in various schools after successful um, completion of these two exams you come out with the degree bmls that's bachelor of medical laboratory science the course medical laboratory science is a very very broad course because there are areas like clinical chemistry there is hematology there's blood um, group serology there's virology there's immunology you can go into cancer research you can go into bioinformatics uh, supply chain management there is a whole lot of areas in actually this course so there are there is a large opportunity there are there are higher percentage of higher or higher opportunities to work in different places but the most common place you find medical laboratory scientists are actually the hospitals you can, but then you can work in a pharmaceutical you could work in a research lab epidemiology center you can work with ngos you can work with the organizations are countless depending on where you actually decide to face you can be overwhelmed by the area they are in medical laboratory science and so it's you just go with what your passion is if you are a person that want to be in a healthcare system having a minimal contact with patients not that like you won't have contact with patients but having the minimal contact with patients then i think this course is your go-to but also please try to also before you choose it make sure you research you find out that you find out to ensure that your passion is actually aligned with it not then just choose it because you saw it online or something research more about it research in the schools you want to go to study it and know more about wherever you want to go and study medical laboratory science it's also called biomedical science overseas in the uk it's called medical laboratory technology in some countries but here in nigeria it's called medical laboratory science please in case you're hearing any background noise you know it, it's it's raining yeah at the end of august lastly for me not to actually forget this point experience is something that is very 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 important in this line of our work experience is very important experience plays a huge role in a lot of things in the line of this work and so it's important to you know and share you gain as much field and on and experience as you can come across yeah that's it so thank you very much thank you very much if you watched the video so far and if you have any more questions about medical laboratory science please i will be elated to actually answer if you have anything that you know you want me to talk about please feel free to put them down in the comment section down below i'll be excited to reply and you know thank you very much for every and anything thank you very much for even clicking on the video to watch it and i hope you were you've been enlightened and you've been educated on the course medical laboratory science here in nigeria thank you very much do have a wonderful day